Welcome to Madam English YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to write a discussion text. After that, you will practice to write a discussion text based on the theme given. Before that, please like this video and subscribe Madam English YouTube channel. Thank you. A discussion text is a piece of writing that presents both sides of an issue or argument. It's a great way to explore different perspectives and help readers understand the pros and cons of a topic. Here's how you can write a compelling discussion text in a few simple steps. Step 1. Statement of Issue. Tells the reader the problem and what will be argued about it. Gives information about the issue and how it is to be framed. Step 2. Presenting the arguments. You'll need to write separate paragraphs for each side of the argument. Start with the pros or the arguments in favor of your topic. The pros or arguments for present the benefits and reasons. Next, you'll write about the cons or the arguments against your topic. The cons or arguments against present the drawbacks and concerns. Step 3. The Conclusion Your conclusion should summarize the main points and restate the importance of the topic. You should also provide your own opinion or recommendation, if appropriate. These are the language features of discussion text. First, we use simple present tense. For example, beef produces the most greenhouse gas emissions, which include methane. Then, using thinking verbs. For example, think, believe, realize, decide, hope, forget, conclude. Next, using modality. For example, must, should, could, may. Using contrastive conjunction. For example, but, on the other hand, however, on other side, although. Then, using passive voice. Is produced, is said, is assumed, is used. Now, let's see how to write the text. First, we write the title of the text. Then, write the introduction or statement of issue. Carbon taxes are a way to reduce pollution by making people and companies pay for the carbon dioxide they release into the air. This idea has both supporters and opponents, and it's important to look at both sides to understand the impact of carbon taxes. Now, write the pro arguments. One of the main arguments for carbon taxes is that they can lead to less pollution. When people and businesses have to pay for the carbon they emit, they are more likely to find ways to reduce their emissions. This can include using cleaner energy sources, improving energy efficiency, and adopting greener technologies. As a result, the overall amount of pollution can decrease significantly. Now, write the contra-arguments. However, there are also arguments against carbon taxes. One of the biggest concerns is that they can make things more expensive. When companies have to pay carbon taxes, they might increase the prices of their products and services to cover the extra cost. This can lead to higher living costs for consumers as everyday items and services become more expensive. Businesses might also face higher operating costs, which can be especially challenging for small companies. Now, write the conclusion or recommendation. In conclusion, carbon taxes have the potential to reduce pollution and improve air quality, which are significant benefits. However, they can also lead to higher costs for people and businesses. It is important to weigh these pros and cons carefully to determine whether carbon taxes are the best solution for reducing pollution and protecting our environment. Now it's your turn. Choose one theme. Write a discussion text. Then do a pair correction. After that, revise the text. And finally, submit the writing task to your teacher. Pause the video to read the theme. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe Madam English YouTube channel. Thank you.